There are over 90 million users on Amazon. Imagine one of them typing in a keyword. Imagine 10 of them typing in a keyword and no books really being visible. Amazon ads allows that visibility. I always think about so many keywords that people are typing in. And if your book's not coming on the first page, it is likely that your customer is not going to scroll through scroll through six or seven pages to find your book. Ads is a way to bring your book out of obscurity. It allows your book to be shown. And because Amazon is a pay per click platform, you really have an advantage. And so I am sharing another still my strategy for Amazon ads. And this one is all about your competition. As you guys know, I will have other self publishers copy my book. And it's so similar that I went ahead and got my covers copyrighted just because I was uncomfortable with, you know, the books that I created became keywords. There were certain aspects of them that became keywords because of their design. And someone just started making really similar designs, but just changing a couple letters and names. And it's kind of silly. So it's been four or five months and I want to continue to own my niche. So in this video, I'm going to show you the rise above competition strategy. And inside this strategy, it is pretty basic, but it belongs also in my ecosystem of keeping a book on the first page of Amazon. First page, they call it above the fold. That goes back from the days of printed newspapers where the top stories were read first, visible, and that's what got people to unfold the page of the newspaper people pay more to have their book at the top of the fold. Okay. So with this ad strategy, I had two goals and the two goals were, I want to eliminate my competition. I don't necessarily, I don't mind other people publishing in my niche, right? I believe in abundance, but I want to be able to make my book available first before anything else. And the second goal is to make money. I want it to be profitable. If it's not profitable, it's really hard to spend money on ads. You want to be profitable. And I do believe that you can make money from books. And it's just the positioning, right? And the positioning is done with ads for me. So this is my experience. So when we talk about eliminating the competition and making money, it's important to remember that there is a little bit of leadway because this is a pay-per-click campaign. So we are able to allow Amazon to show our book to people without paying for it, right? We only pay if they click on it. So here's the ad setup for this campaign. This is very simple and I just wanted to write it out so you could visually see it. All of my campaigns are always standard product. I don't really, first of all, you click on the left-hand side sponsored product. Inside there, you can do a custom or a standard. I always pick standard. Then I'm doing a manual product target. This means I need to know my competition that I'm competing with or my copycat. I need to know the ASIN. So I go and copy the ASIN. And this is one book that I'm targeting. And this is where it gets kind of interesting because you can target multiple competitive books. But I'm sharing this one with you because this is the one that has been profitable very quickly. So that's an important aspect to remember is that we're just targeting one book that seems to be beating us on the top 10, top 50 BSR, or it looks too much like ours that it's making us uncomfortable. Okay. 
you're going to decide why you want to compete with a certain book. If the book is selling and you think that it's a similar customer, that's also a really good indication to run ads to it. So this is technically a lotto ad and a lotto ad is a lottery ad where you're adding more than one book that you want to sell. So even though I'm targeting one book to compete with, I have a big series of these medium content, but I have a big series of these books and the book that I'm targeting, the competition, it looks a lot like my books. So if I can get the customer to see that mine has a better design, <laughs> I'm going to do it. And that's through ads. So essentially the really cool thing about this, because it is a lottery means I'm adding my best books. And then when this book comes up, the customer is looking at it and they scroll down, there will be a carousel of my books. And I believe as I have out designed most of my competition, they're going to pick my book. That was my theory when I set up this ad. And I'm going to show you what this ad has done so far. So you want to pick out your books. Now I did, I want to say seven or eight books because the carousel is I think seven or eight books long. When you hit carousel, you're able to scroll through to more books. Okay, so this is over a month old at the time of this recording and it's working. So we are, we're having a low A cost. We're spending, well, let's see, we're spending, let me just actually pull up my calculator for you so you get an idea of what we're spending. $94.81 and this has been over, this is now 35 days. So we're spending $2.70 to, we're not targeting any keywords in this campaign. We're just targeting a book and, and this person is running ads. So on their book. And so I am just piggyback. I'm piggybacking off of them. And I often wonder if that's why I'm getting really low um, a cost. And this is why I'm getting really low pay per click or, or uh, click, sorry, CPC. That's my cost per click. So this is just month one and I'm checking this to optimize it almost every day, but it is a strategy you can implement if you are confident that you can out design somebody. I think that is an important thing about this or if you want to compliment a book, this is a really great strategy. If you think your book could be a substitute to another book, sometimes, I mean, the best thing is to create a book that doesn't exist, but when we're newer for publishing on KDP, sometimes we draw from inspiration and make something original to ourselves. And in, in the process of that, we're able to find our place in the niche right in the category. So this is the rise above rise above your competition strategy by strategy, by targeting a best selling book and putting multiple books in your campaign. They're able to see that. So let me know what questions you have about ads. We have I have a course called Bids and Budget Masterclass, and it has 15 different strategies that I use. And this is just one of them. So let me know how I can help you guys. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Love you. Peace out.